Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. I don't know where this finds you, but it may find you around breakfast time or maybe on a lunch break at work. And, and while we're thinking about food, have you ever found yourself taking a drink of a beverage or taking a bite of food and the taste being completely different than what you thought it would be? Maybe uh, the, the milk was spoiled uh, you know, in your breakfast. Maybe you filled up your cup with the wrong beverage at the restaurant and you took a drink thinking it was one thing, it was another. Maybe the food was seasoned completely opposite from what you thought it was. But especially think about if you've ever taken a bite of spoiled food or, or spoiled drink and, and it was that, that bitter, rancid taste that was repulsive to you. Our, our brains know that, that when there's something that is not right, we want to, to repel it out. We want to go away from it. But on, on the other hand, if something is sweet and it's seasoned correctly, we desire more of it. We want another bite. We want another sip of that thing. And biblically, when we look at how it talks about our life, it says that our speech should be like that. Our speech should be seasoned in a way that we want more of it. We want to lean into it. Listen to what Colossians 4, 6 says. It says, let your speech be always gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. You know, our speech is so significant. The words that we use can bless or curse people. They can build people up or tear them down. And the scary thing is often the, the thing that people remember the most isn't the compliments, the nice words, the gracious things we say, but instead they remember the harsh words, the critical statements, the mean thoughts that come out of our mouth towards other people. So today let me ask you, what is the seasoning of your speech? Is it seasoned with grace? Is it seasoned in a way that people desire more of it? when they desire you to speak more life into them and be around them to encourage and uplift them? Or do they find themselves avoiding you because it's not seasoned with grace, but instead it's seasoned with bitterness and anger and criticism? Do, are they repulsed by your speech and go, man, I just don't want to be around that person? Or do they desire to lean in? And see, the, the way that we interact with food can be so helpful for us thinking, how do we interact with our words? Is our speech a good and tasty thing in the lives of other people, or is it repulsive and painful and disgusting towards them? And I invite you to, to examine your own life. How is your speech seasoned? Because biblically, we're told that it should be seasoned with grace, and, and it's always seasoned with salt, something that builds up and tastes better and is desirable of more. And I hope that that's the case for you today. I hope that you would use your words today to bless and not curse, to build up and not tear down, to encourage and not criticize those around you. Hope that you have a great day today. We'll see you next time.